Hello, Ted Greenfield, over 50 and learning to fly. And today I wanna to talk to you about the importance of a very thorough run-up checklist. Thank goodness that this pre-flight was done in such a thorough manner. I went flying with a friend of mine, Andre, and Andre is a seven, 800 hour multi-engine commercial pilot, but he's from Brazil and he's getting all of his credentials in order for flying in the United States. So we were just gonna do kind of a standard routine flight for about an hour, hour and a half, and shoot a couple of instrument approaches and I was gonna be the safety pilot. Well, he started going in on this very, very thorough engine run-up checklist. And at first I was like, ah, kind of come on, get on with it. Not that I wanted to skip anything, but I thought he was, you know, being very thorough. But thank goodness he did, because I want you to watch what happened and you never know what possible or potential problem is lurking just around the corner. So check this out. Um, getting the brakes set already. Mixture leaning for taxi, powering uh, 1700. Okay, magneto check. Oh, let me come a little bit. Okay, that's much better. Okay, that looks normal. 75 RPMs. How's our maximum drop? 125. It's okay. And right, Magneto. Okay, no difference. And both Magnetos. Double check for me this, please. All right. Magneto, we got a appropriate drop in the right. Okay. And we got an appropriate drop in the left. And you are confirmed. Okay, with 1700, let's check the fuel pump. It's in here, right? Nope, right here. Oh, it's here. Yep. And pressure yep, coming up. pressure. And nothing changed in the engine. So that's good. Uh, fuel pump off. And now I'm going to open the carb heat. Yep. And now I'm going to go to idle progressively. Yep. I lose some RPMs there. I saw it. And with in idle, our, our engine is still working. Uh huh. So let's see what, how it changed here. It's working. There you go. And now 1000. Okay. Uh, power lever in idle, carburetor heat off. Okay, excellent. So before takeoff, seats, everything secure. You have your seat belt. Please check that your seat is it's not gonna move from there. Uh, I doors, am secure. Lock. Doors, doors are locked. Okay, flight instruments radio set to sh and set and check it. Okay, set. so set. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Good. Uh, you're good. And uh, 1229, and we can do, uh, yep, yeah, okay, you're good. Okay, prime is locked, and uh, we, we, you take off with the fuel pump off, right? Correct. Yeah, I don't use, I barely use the fuel pump at all. Okay, so pitot heat, we don't need it, and no pitot cover. Fuel rich mixture. Flight controls, let me check flight controls, please. Okay, flight controls. Okay, uh, trim ready for takeoff. Carburetor heat off. Mixture bridge, flaps set. So we come here. No, you can leave them up for. And then we back here. Yeah. But I, um, I, I leave them all the way up. Are you used to. The, uh, because I read the, in the manual. Oh, okay, the, then yeah, yeah. Do, do that. But I mean, it's okay. It's yeah. not a quite different. So. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah you're really not. Oh, so, okay, so let's brief. We're going to take off with no flaps in configuration. No, take off with no, no flaps. flaps right. Yeah. Uh, flaps, brakes off, and transponder. Transponder is 1200. So I'm ready for takeoff. Uh, flaps, trim set, accelerate, and 7, 67 uh, miles per hour. So I'm going to try to look for 70. It's a hot day. So that's rotating here. And here too. Yeah? Yeah. And in here too. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. And then and when you're when you're rolling down the runway, um, to confirm airspeed's alive, I always say airspeed's alive both sides, so just check to make sure both are alive. Okay, and our climb is gonna be in 80, yeah? Yeah, That's hot, a good day, hot day 85, you know. So let's brief a little bit about our takeoff. Okay. That's okay with you, so we're gonna take off in the 1.8, we have enough runway. Uh, our upward point is gonna be across the fuel pump, across the fuel pump we have to be flying uh, with all everything okay and in positive rate. If something is bad before that, we're gonna board, abort, abort. If you see something wrong, Abort, 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 abort. We're gonna abort takeoff. Uh, so the wind it's for the one eight. Uh, we're gonna take off in seventy. Um, um, and if we have any problem while we're rolling, we're gonna um, 
go to idle and keep the center line and break the airplane in the runway. We take off and we and we lose engine and we have something bad and we have enough runway in front of us. We're gonna put full flaps and nose down and land. Okay. And if we take off and we don't have more land and more uh, airstrip uh, forward of of us and we're less than 500 feet, we're gonna turn right and we're gonna try to find the, the open field, field yeah. that it's in our right hand. If we take off and we're more than 500 feet, who it's here. We're gonna try to return to the three six. Right. Okay. Our glide, it's best glide. It's in se oh, sorry, in seventy five right. knots. Uh, seventy five no miles an hour. Correct. Yeah. Uh, so miles per hour. Sorry. Yeah. With no flaps and trim. Right. Okay. If we have some situation like that, you have more hours in this airplane, so you're gonna take the controls. You're gonna okay. perform the one eighty, and I will try to do the troubleshoot and try to restart the engine. You're gonna fly the airplane. Got it. I'll Sounds fly the airplane like in emergency. Okay. Good. Okay, questions? No, that's We're good. Complete. I'm so, good. Awesome. Excellent. And we have to turn, uh, this is the 1-8, so we're going to turn left to the 111 heading to Okeechop Airport. Okay. Okay? After Here, takeoff. so you can put your heading bug right there, too. See the heading bug? In the 111, right? Yeah. They just kind of match it up Let there. me there check again. So I'm keeping brakes. Everything looking good? Brakes and really we are good. Everything's fine. Oil pressure, uh, fuel pressure. Fuel pressure is in the red. That's okay. normal here. Uh, fuel pressure is. I'm gonna board now. I've never seen it in the red like that. I'm gonna Have board. you seen it in the red like that? No. Yeah, pull back on that. Huh. With all the power. That was a good catch. Yeah. yeah let's try it again. And maybe we can just stick to a high speed. Did you notice anything during the run-up? Again. Wachula Cardinal, November 2214, Yankee taking off 1-8. Oh, that's in the red again. Okay, it's coming up. So let's keep an eye in there. Yeah, all right, I got an eye on it. Uh, it's in the red again. It's yeah. less in the red. It's almost in zero. It's coming up. Um, abort, abort, abort. I don't like that. Yep, abort, abort, abort. Yeah, abort, abort, abort. Yeah, now it's coming up again. Yeah, that's weird. You see from the look on my face that I was really relieved and I was very happy that he went through such a thorough engine run-up checklist because number one, both of us knew what to do. And number two, if there was any problems at all, we knew what to expect. We knew what was coming next and we knew what was around the corner and that's exactly what happened. I thought my airplane was in perfect condition as all of us do, but the reality is I have a 1968 Cessna Cardinal, 1968. The Beatles were still together in 1968. That's a long time ago. Here's my question to you. What do you think the problem is? We throttle up going down the runway and the fuel pressure goes to negative. We ease back on the throttle and the fuel pressure comes up. We made a wise decision to abort, but I wanna hear from you. What do you think the problem was? And here's a hint. I know. So we will see you next time. Leave your comments below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you haven't been here before, come on back. And if you are over 50, even if you are near 50, even if you aren't near 50, or even if you're way, way past 50 and you wanna fly, get on with it. Now's a perfect time to get into an online ground school and pass that written exam because yes, folks, this will pass one day. And when it does, we will all be back up in the air.